Welcome to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast with the Traders. G'day with the Traders with thanks to Sportsbet. I'm Roy, I coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warning. Coach of the One Dogs. And Calvin. Coach of Calvin Ada. Very Oh, Where's your green vest? You should have it on. Mixed emotions yes. today. Yeah. Would you like me to go put it on, Rog? Yeah, put it on. You just like to kick me while I'm down, don't you? Yeah, exactly. It was, um, it was a very typical first round for us. Yeah, yes, the same it was. things happen every single <laughs> year. <laughs> yep. Bullet, bullet, bang, bang. Dudes that we've had all pre-season somehow aren't there anymore and dominate. We had a big training list. We did. And... We just didn't invite the right dudes back the for end. the final cut to At training. And I'll tell you what, there's a few things that factored into that. There are. The, the rolling lockout is one thing because it meant that we overthought things a little bit. Yes. How, or, or maybe it worked in positive in some ways because we could do some thinking. But I'm putting it back to last week. Yep. Elliot Yo Every... ruined... Absolutely everything for Every us. single year, Roy. 100%. He finds a way to do I it. I would have so had Tom Green in my side yes. if Elliot Yo was there. 100%. Hey, here's a question. When's he back? <laughs> he could be back this week, yeah. <laughs> I bloody get him. So will I. He'll strengthen Just that for some more pain. Woeful back line. <laughs> um, yes, no, that dog. So Yo and along with some idiot suggesting uh, taking a punt on a value Ooh, mark. Ooh, we might talk about that mm. Ooh. in a bit. All right, well, let's <laughs> talk about our scores for this week. Uh, Roy, you were the top scorer. Yes, yes, and what a journey it was. So <laughs> 2015 I ended up with a bloody headache, illness as a result. Yeah, you're not uh, well. No, I'm not. 18,400 was the eventual rank. So it was crisis point and it's still actively crisis point. Oh, yeah. However, I've put some things in place to try to not be too far behind the competition moving forward. There you go. Mm. No, that's good. And so that's got your 18,500 yes. rank. I'll tell you what, it's so close though. You're not that mm. many points off being in that top hitting zone as such. No. Probably because of our great advice this year, would you say? Oh, well, yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> that's too right. Yeah, yeah. uh, I was next with 2007, so eight points behind, which just gets me outside the top 20K for now, but... Donning that green ah, vest. See, Looking so good in it, Calvinator. Just, you deserve 2,000. I did so. I you had a good summer. I nearly had 2,000. I had 1997. Yeah. And then overnight, you. some thief, <laughs> a sicko, <laughs> took six more off me. It's 1991. That's about the last time you were good at fantasy football. Well, I'll tell you, it's about <laughs> right. So I'm in the 24,000 club, Roy. Yes. You did have some good stuff, though, Calvin. Uh, how the hell did I score that? <laughs> I and know. Jared Witts had half of it. God, he was good. 137. He was Roy. great. He was magnificent. So good. it was the right pick, obviously, there. Um, yeah, good matchup. It was a good matchup, and that's the thing probably not to get too... Well, you can be excited about it. I'll let you be excited about that, <laughs> He's Calvin. letting you be excited. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, dog. But good appreciate dog. it. Good dog. But it, good was, boy. it was an awesome matchup for him, <laughs> and everything was. was right in place for that. It was and even then, stoppage central. Like, yeah. it was so slippery. Yeah, we had 51 hit outs. 51. And then the guy who was going again <laughs> was sucked gets sucked out. out. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. Doesn't that, get much uh, well better done. than that, does it? You deserve some goodness. Thank you, Roy. Uh, Thank I'll you. give mine for the one. 115 for Tim English. So I went there and it was just that bit of a – that could have quite easily gone the other way yeah. with another option there. Oh. Um, but yes. you've got that really tough match-up out of the way and still got 115. So he was up against the uh, Grundy and Gorn He's another one that combo, very good. The Gorndy set and forget by uh, Simon Goodwin combo. And that was awesome to be mm. able to get that. He, and he was great. He was around the ground. He's doing a lot of really good things. So is. I'm quite happy to have him there. What about you, Roy? Uh, my plus three goes to Dacos. Oh, um, wow. Just you are paying a little bit more than a couple of other options that were yep. lingering. And, you know, sometimes we split the difference by going the cheaper one. But I, I paid up just because I am a massive fan of how he goes about it. The tag risk is obviously ongoing all season, but he Will certainly he? got it done um, in week one. He gets the three votes in that game, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, to go he'd be close. Go, yeah, yeah, the goat was good. Mm. Jeez, he was good. That was the thing. I think Dacos, mm, he couldn't almost be a must-have, but mm. he was someone all spooked out of. I was definitely spooked out of picking There'll him. There'll be a 60 year. around the corner with a hard tag. Yeah. All right, can't all be positive. I'll spill it! It was the most disgraceful display I've ever seen. Because it's just not acceptable! Rory Lang! 
Lloyd. <laughs> Rory Lavroy. No, I'm going now. That's I'm not... sitting here. Okay. I'm being patient. Rory Lad. Oh my God. 57. Now, if he'd scored, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to try to stretch you out here, Rory. If you'd scored like 65, yeah. I would be our top scorer. I would not be in the vest. 65. <laughs> Who would have thought? Lowest score of 90 last year. He was the guy who is my problem this week. What happened? I don't know. He had 71% CBAs. He was there. He did everything. Got the first tackle of the match. He got the first tackle and I'm watching it going, yeah, boy, we're on. Not on. Not on. 18 touches. Two tackles. It's Two, and I saw one. It's not Rory. I mean, Rory's really really good about it. <laughs> the thing is, <sighs> like, I, I only saw bits and pieces of that game, but they did look to be playing a little bit different. Like, they've yep. got some um, some guys in there That's with a different pretty quick legs going and there. stuff like that. So they use, maybe that, that hurt him a little bit. Yep, they used nine midfielders mm. through the middle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Barry and himself, 71%, stand out as so, like, the I clear mean, cut. Still yeah. 70% oh, you, you, the It's box. still your role. It is. That so, role hasn't changed yeah, of that. But I think it, it was up against that midfield of the Giants, which is elite. Yes. And Tom Green wasn't sharing the ball with anybody no. out there. <laughs> so that made it really hard as well. But don't worry, Roy. He returns home this week where he averaged less this year compared to away against a team... He scored 95 and 75 on. I just did not think. It doesn't paint a good picture. That the million dollar man no. <laughs> would be my problem this week. No. I just did not think about it. So, what are you in a position you could actually captain. trade him? <laughs> oh, well, we'll get to trades later, right? Oh, lucky duck. Well, lucky duck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put there, and I'm, it's oh. a little bit of a rocket I'm going to call this one. I'm exhausted after that. I reckon. For me, <laughs> Dom Sheed can have a rocket. Yeah, fair as call. a negative okay. three for seventy nine. So, yeah. I just expected more in that matchup yes. against North Melbourne. Yes. That was the thing. And Cal, you're probably going to counter me with a little bit here and say it's not that bad. But well, no, that seventy nine should have been a lot better than that. He I was there. So. He, role was there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just wasn't getting it done. Do you know what? Ironically. One more mark kick, and I would have an ex- I would have accepted yeah. an eighty five. An eight, <laughs> yeah. But an eight in front of that would have looked yes. so much better. Yeah. Um, I think the probably the kicker for me in that one though was it was Sheed or Setterfield. Yeah. yeah. I liked the idea of Setterfield, yes. and I just kept going back to more people are doing Sheed. Just yeah. got to do that. Go the safety of that. Setterfield obviously had a great score. Yes. Um, but Sheed she will be right. You're, she, you're like Sheed gets to play. Against the Hawks as well. Yeah. yeah. Sheed's had his, um, Setterfield's had his turn. Yes. Um, Sheed had a game high, seven, sorry, a team high, 75% CBA. Yeah. yeah. The role's there. So, the role is there. So, good rocket, but we don't panic. No, it's okay. It's not awful. It's above what he, you paid for him. He scored above yeah, that's what you right. paid for yeah. him. So, yeah, yeah. So, we don't worry too much anyway. about that. Good rocket though, dog. All yeah, right. that's what he needs. He's at, back it up to stadium. Yep. He'll be right. Against uh, who? The Giants. Mm. Dope. Okay, play on. Okay, <laughs> now this one, I look, hang in there. It's going to be okay, but I apologise for how bullish I was at the start of the season <laughs> with Josh Dunkley because I didn't think a score like that was possible. I'm with you. Yeah. He had three kicks. What? He had three kicks. In which quarter? <laughs> and no marks. In which quarter? Oh, mate, that's not Dunks. Stat stuffer Dunkley, I call him. No. Look, the thing with this, he's going to be fine. They got owned over there. They did. Massively owned. Once he gets a run at home against some easier opposition, he's going to pay us back. But man, oh man, that's not the place to start. Very disappointing. It is. Just very disappointing start. Especially, I guess, draft. Oh, you, number one you went pick. in number one, didn't you? Number one pick oh, for a number lot two. of people. <laughs> Great start, fellas. I did see um, Aaron, who we had on the coach's corner back in February, um, talked about his four pillars of strength. Yeah. The four big guys. It was Doherty. okay with Doherty at the yep, back. that's yeah. fine. Laity. Yep. Bom, bom. No. Uh, Rowan Marshall. Hell, he wasn't in one of these negative threes. Oh, Jesus. Well, that skimmed that's past him accidentally. Yeah, Rowan Marshall. Don't worry, there. he might be in the injury report. And then Dunkley. Pillars so. of strength, more like poles of poo. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so it was round one, and it's probably no. the most stressful time. And that's the thing. We've got to remember it's one week. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking at Dunkley here, who had to play against Port Adelaide in Port Adelaide. And they are red on the they scale. They are red on the scale. They are red. And even in that game, the highest scorer was at 95. Yeah. Okay. We all don't get to play Hawthorne every week. No. Okay, so... Yeah, we can't panic. It'll all come back around, right? All right, well, let's have a think about... Oh. Ooh. The weekend that was. So, we talked about things changed with Elliot Yo. That was one thing. Yeah, yeah. But, Roy, I want you to tell us about <laughs> how things changed for you when we saw <laughs> on amazing. Thursday night that Tristan... Cherry, mm. a.k.a. X Cherry. Thank you. So mm. you can find him when you're searching him. Yes. So we can do that. Yes. <laughs> Was named as a solo ruck with Todd Goldstein out, playing in the VFL. Yeah. Yep. All right, so now, for those at home, strap yourself in. <laughs> I'm not going into it too hardcore, just semi-hardcore. So, okay, I was big on X Cherry yep. if Goldie wasn't named, okay? I had done my research. I had got some squirts on it. Oh, did you? Oh, yep. so you I, worked hard. Yeah, I worked hard. I don't throw out a recommendation like that on a guy who was sitting at about 0.01% of the um, population owned him. Yep. So I, when I went all in on it, it was well researched, okay? They'll be using him around the ball. He's running really well, marking, tackling, ticked all boxes, okay? Now, that's exactly what we saw for the first 15 minutes of that game. He looked amazing. His opponent wasn't much chop, but, you know, he was tracking for well over 100. Um, the position he was in on your ground at that price, we all knew that if to be fixed it was going to cost a small fortune. Now, I always thought if he was so bad and, I, you know, I just got it wrong because he, he sucked, that's going to be a hard fix. I never factored in a score of 26, mm. 20 minutes into the game and injured. Yeah. So, dog, what I would usually <clears> do <throat> is just <clears throat> spit it like I always do. I mean, that's just standard. <laughs> but <laughs> then, you know, lock out lifts and you then just work out what you're going to do. Yep. But with the rolling lockout, I thought, oh, well, I, I might need those, yeah. you know, I don't want to be doing a downgrade trade to upgrade when I can actually maybe find some cash on the fly here. Am I a fan of this strategy? No. Did it pay off? No, not really. I didn't quite go to the right guys, but it could have been really good. So I traded Laird, which was – that was a bonus. In the oh, end. that worked So out. God, I'm so kissed. Um, <laughs> Shut you out of the vest. Yeah, well, so I traded Laird to Bond, who was just so-so. Yeah, that should started have been, well. Yeah, that should he have been to – point first quarter. Yes, he looked right? really good. So that should have been to Green, who is um, the player that was there that I yeah. upgraded to Laird. But anyway, that wasn't the case. So then I thought, all right, I've got a fair bit of cash there, but – I probably want more. Like, you want overs just to make sure you can patch. Um, so then I thought, well, I've got Chandler's 100 sitting there. Warp is sitting there. If I go him down to a, a rookie, that's another 280K I can bank yep. to help fix this problem. So I took Chandler's 100, I traded Warp down to a rookie, and now I've got 485 in the bank to fix x area this yes. week. So my ruck gets fixed. Okay. Well, I think you've worked your way through it. I sort of have, haven't I? Yeah. Um, if if um, Josh Kelly didn't go and get knocked out, <laughs> yeah. I would feel like I'm sitting quite pretty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But now, like, it's a mess. So, and realistically, I shouldn't have done that warp cash grab because the cash grab will now come from Kelly down to Green. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I didn't need to do yeah. it. And warp was really good. But you didn't know that, obviously. No, no. And you couldn't have done that. You couldn't have done that early? No, because no. it was Saturday night. <clears throat> Yeah, and ironically, because there's more money sitting on Sheed's head, it would have been Sheed that went down before yeah, Warple yeah, yeah, for, yeah. to get the more cash. But that's the rolling lockout, dog. That's the beauty of that beast of a thing. Why did you bring it in, dog? Oh, yeah, if I had the choice, <laughs> it would be Friday night lockout. No, actually, if I had the choice, it would be the Saturday first game. I like that. Yep. I, that's my vote. The Saturday so first game. why aren't we game. letting the dog father? Because people vote and people choose rolling lockout. People are the, sick. The, the wrong people are voting. Yeah. <laughs> Dog <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> they do. So, Don't we do the it dog's so anyway, way. That's what I've done. It was full crisis control. It was trying to take advantage of the the rolling lockout. It wasted so much time of my weekend. I'm I'm in the doghouse at home. I, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but at least I'm in a decent position going forward given the circumstance. Yeah. 
And that's all that's important. And that's all that's important. Don't worry about your family. <laughs> anyway, no. we've got our squads of 30 now and it's time to uh, get to work on them. But before we do get into everything we need to look at ahead of round two, we're going to have on our Monday podcast the Michael Barlow Medal for the Cash Cow of the Year, the votes. <laughs> All right, let's get into it for round one. Wow. Five votes. Harry Sheasel with his 118. Holy hell. How good was he? Stop it. So, yep. first up, when the game started, we saw him off that half back. Oh and my, he was yes. looking, and we're going, oh my God, he's got that juicy role, which yeah. he had a little bit of a taste of in yes. the preseason. And, but he was mostly forward. We thought he would be playing forward. Never thought he was going to start there. He went back there and had 34 disposals. So that is um, third best debut behind Dean Gregg with a 39 and Greg Williams, 38. Go. And ironically here, one ahead of um, Michael Barlow with 33. What about wow. old so Dino's game there? 39. Yeah, nice nice well done, debut uh, there for Harry Sheasel. So he gets the five votes. Early leader in the Michael Barlow medal for the Cash Cow of the Year. Uh, K Chan. That 104, so he had 16 touches, eight marks, seven tackles. Nice stat line there that with is. the goal. Yep. Ruben Jinby, so great back line line. Yep. Mostly a D5. It'd be nice if he was D6, yes, but D5 would. there. He had 12 tackles. Charlie straight out of Combin. He, <laughs> he was, stepped up. Had 80 because he had to go into the ruck for Tristan Cherry. So he's, when he went yeah, down, yeah, so that was yeah. positive for him. And he's under 300K. Is yeah. he an option there? Straight out of. Um, no, the problem is Goldie's coming back. Too right he is. So he won't get that same. And role. the one vote goes to Cam McKenzie. Uh, he's third in line uh, for the CBAs. He had 52% there yep. for uh, the right. Hawks. And he was great. I was happy with that. 75 points. That's a great debut. Big time. That's a good one to have on our field, which I think most of us will probably have. Here's the news of the week you need to know on the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. Alrighty, there's a few things that we need to know out of the news and injuries. We'll headline that because there's a few that we do have some dramas with. Yeah, and very and coaches popular. have some drama. Popular which, names here. I'm seeing a lot of players I've got in my team. Does suck a fair bit. Well, we've mentioned Tristan Sherry, so the ankle. He'll be yes. out for a while. So uh, we'll see Goldie back in. He was good in the VFL, apparently. Um, of course I was he was. Following, I even followed North Melbourne's VFL Twitter account to find out some more information about that. So You uh, are. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Well, this is what we do as fantasy coaches. No, we don't go that far. <laughs> Goldie got mentioned about he had a lot of it early. Didn't get another mention Engine. afterwards. Yeah, but they said he was right. good. I that's heard from concern. interviews and can't stuff. Can't keep a good man down, right? No, you can't. When you are the ruck of the decade. Too right, you're the ruck of the decade. Have you ever just thought about going straight to Goldberg? Yeah. Of course you have. No. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Friday night was a brutal one with Tom Stewart. It that was. knee early on. 14 points. Oh, that, that wrecked some people's weekend even yeah. before it started. It was reminiscent of last year when Christian Salem, a, a premium, and a unique -ish sort of one there. Three points. There. Yep. And a lot of people there would be in the same boat as us with, that's Elliot Yo's fault. Yeah. yeah. They went to Stuart they because did. of Yo. <laughs> and I know I know someone that went um, down to ex Erie to get the money to make Yo Stuart. Oh. <laughs> what a game we play. So fun. <laughs> Uh, so then we've got some concussions, and we've been hit by this, Roy, with Josh Kelly, mm. who was a good pick. So good like pick. your Tristan Cherry, before he got injured, he was, going well, mm. he was a great pick, mm. just as Josh Kelly was. Yeah. So he's out with concussion. His, his inside mid-roll was there. That's yep, what we wanted. Exactly. And it was, he was killing it. So, uh, Doug, what's the concussion rule? Uh, so they're missing days, 12 days. It? So it's, it's a round. So they'll days. always miss yes. a round. Um, okay. And I don't think there's any – well, I haven't really uh, – had a real deep dive into the fixture to see if that might be two games for anyone because of the timing with yes. 12 days. But it could happen. It could happen mm. if there's one of those five day breaks in there and the maths yep. don't work out. Anyway, 12 days. Um, however, it's a concussion. And same with Lockie Whitfield. He um, failed yes. his concussion protocols there as well. So those guys will miss this week. Now, I there's no risk with concussion now, I think, with all the um, stuff in the media too. Yes. Could a concussion turn into two weeks? If there's any, we saw a few. If there's any lingering, yeah, we saw side a few last year. Like Tim English was one last year that Just that kept concussion dragging was dragging out. Mm. Mm. So that is probably something we have to think about. But it's a straight up trade anyway. It is. I don't yep. think you can hold for a week. No. Um, someone did mention to me about Josh Kelly. They play Sunday. Could you go a 
a loop bench option if they score enough you could hold yes could you do that you could if you don't if you've got other priorities that's yeah, definitely <coughs> you definitely could it's just so time consuming it is hard uh, out of that game too <laughs> harry perryman had a hammy liam jones roy you can take the blame for this for a few coaches oh, that might have gone on. there we needed content yeah. i never said to get him <laughs> so he was subbed out very early was that it was low i think it was Maybe about seven points or he something He scored like seven, that. but he's seven. been out there for like 40% of the game. Yeah, so his score was not good. No, it wasn't. Anyway. Uh, and and 12.5% of coaches got him on board. That many? Yep. Roy, I got can't believe you I'm say? getting the blame for it. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> hey, we say all Australian, Liam Jones. All I said, I had to review <laughs> that game and I said, Liam Jones scored 88 with 11 marks. Yep. That was Impressive. It was. That's all and I said. And I said his rookie price. Get on. Jeremy Howe <laughs> busted arm. That was awful. Oh, yes. Uh, poor bloke there. Definitely draft player for some mm. teams. Uh, so he's having surgery. He'll miss a long, long time. Yes. You would say for that. So say across all the injury weeks, news. I didn't yeah. actually uh, At research th- that. Did you? He could be back in 80 with a bit of luck. Yep. Mm. Jeez, if my arm snapped like that. Mm. They got good. Uh, I'm not going anywhere near it. No. A football put, or a football ground. Put good bits of After the buy round, you'll be right. Metal in your arm these yep. days. All right, let's uh, – oh, there's a couple just a flag. Roel Marshall late in the game copped a bit of a shoulder knock. Oh, dear. <laughs> Rowan. <laughs> so just run to watch. The other one was – and there's nothing to worry about now because he played out the game, but Errol Golden had a – had his calf strapped mm, up. He looked mummified. But I guess the good thing about that is that – they subbed out Laddams, so if it was an issue, they were up by a truckload. Yeah, and it was yeah, not yeah. like no. so. If there was any risk, they would have subbed him out. So there's zero risk. I'm going to say for that. Yeah, he's fine. So uh, let's with Marshall then. If he's got a small knock, okay. <laughs> next week he's dum de dum de dum. Next week he's up against Tim English. Do they <sighs> knock on the door? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> well, ah, good day, Tom. Well, dum de dum. That's he the comes. thing. So he was getting praised up for how he handled those yes. two rucks. Yep. And his, they won. His stat line wasn't great. So he should be – they should keep the same. I think so. I why think why would you same. mix it up? They won't. Yep. Okay. But uh, I cannot believe the two people we're worried about the most here that aren't injury affected is Rowan Marshall and Rory Laird moving forward. Mm-hmm. Like they're the names the that pillars. Yep. are stressing The us. pillars of strength as they were done. Um, and just to note, uh, Buddy has a week – um, for his hit there and Cozzy two weeks. And I reckon Shane McAdam, which we don't have that news yet, that'll come this afternoon, is probably going to be missing as well. Not totally fantasy relevant though. No. All right, let's look at the issues of the week. And the main thing is round one trades is all about priority of fixing up your trades. So... What is that then? The simple mm. one is yep. if you missed a rookie, they've got to be your number one priority. Yeah. So I oh, actually probably should say injured premiums. Yes. That's a priority. Injured premiums. You've got to fix that. Yeah. And that's something we'll mm. sort of get to as we go through. But the priority of fix up trades is get those rookies because cash cows are a very important part of your team. So yep. you've got to have the right ones. So it's, everyone's got them, but your Sheezels, your Jinbies, your McKenzies, all the big dogs, you've got to make sure you've got those. Yes, so 100%. that's a simple thing. Yeah. Even even Ashcroft, like, yes, his score wasn't great. He took zero marks. No. Oh, he's going to be fine. But he played against Port Adelaide. So that's the thing. So I think him and Dunkley, zero marks. Yeah. As if that's happening. Yeah. Ever so, again. Um, so Kay Chandler, he's one I don't that's have. Good. You blokes both have him. So is he a must-have? Scored 104. Obviously got votes there in the Michael Barlow medal. Um, off the back of that score, he had a big quarter too. He had like a 40-point quarter in yeah. that. I'm not going to say a must-have because he's in a very strong team with a lot of big names coming back. Yes. But he's also not going anywhere soon after yep. playing a game like that. Like yeah. sometimes you've just got to go, all right, well, he was probably in our top six best players. Yeah. So he's not going to get dropped, is he? Not and his week. scoring potential's there when he's taken marks – and laying tackles like he was. He just fit in very well. He might have actually gone past a few of those guys that have been tw- best 22 for a long time. Yep. Like people like Neil Bullen still kick around for him. Oh, yep. He's good though. Is he? He getting midfield clock too, wasn't he? Was he? But, little flag, they... <laughs> That's a big drive by Neil Bullen. That's a bit harsh. It was a bit. Um, they got a tough matchup this week. Yeah. So... 
it's not always going to be him pumping out those scores. Nah, no. It's, it's still, just that that oh, score sits in that rolling average, which then will boost his yes. cash generation. So I'll put him I'll put him on my ground hoping for a 60 Yep. after that performance. Okay. Mm. Mm. Tick it off. But he's not a must-have, no. Uh, so then the other one was there is Bodie Ooland. Yeah. Um, so he had a 60 in the back line. Uh, Defender mid, yep. could he become a little bit of a a good move to fix some things? Like we saw, so in that we've got we didn't have great scores from our defenders, and I reckon a lot of teams might have been playing at a D six, a Chessa or a Locky Cash Cowan. Yeah, um, do you move one of those guys to Bodie? Well, you had might, a you nice actually, role. You might actually have to. They might get dropped. Yeah. So so if one's dropped, you would go and do that I, I as long so. as Bodie's playing. You do. Yeah. So who Chess is? He's no guarantee to stay. Cash Cowan played really well, mm. but was a bit sore. He was he subbed out, off. obviously. Yeah. So I think that was a bit of crampy sort of stuff. For Wilmot's him. another popular one. He should he should probably hold. He's I think forty nine, he yeah. even in the the red matchup. Cow. Yeah. No, yep. So he was all right. <laughs> but yeah, just flagging that one or two of them might. Not be there next and week. And Orland only plays Bombers. Yeah. So, <laughs> there you go. 70. Yep. Easy. Even Warpedo can dominate the Bombers. He did. Uh, top of the ladder, though. Don't forget that. Bombers <laughs> are... F- Here we go. Enjoy it while it you lasts, coming? mate. No. To the grand final with I'm me? I'm not going to the yes. grand final with you. <laughs> not to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, aside from rookies, then it's the players that we've missed. And I think the number one target after seeing it, and I am putting my hand up as a non-owner because I'm devastated with this, yeah. is... An idiot. Yeah. yeah. He was there all preseason. 100%. Yeah. Bloody Elliot. Yeah. He's Tom Green. Yes. So Tom Green, I think, is a must have. So we Would pick- you agree with that? Yeah, is that- definitely. Yeah. We picked him. Oh, well, we had him sitting there. The only question mark was ever can he get that mark counter yep. a little yep. bit? Um, and he certainly did that. He just did everything. He's just ready now. 37 touches, <laughs> six marks. So the thing He's is, just their best. He did this at the start last year, though. He mm-hmm. did it three did. times out of the first four weeks. Yep. So you could always say that, you know, we still haven't seen that he can push longer than a month of footy out, but I'm not a believer in that. I think he's and that's it. Him there and, for the long haul now. Him and Cogs, 80% of the CBAs were mm. theirs. Yeah. So that's exactly what he is. He's getting more time in there now with those other guys gone. Yeah. What can he average from here on in? Because obviously you bring him in this week, you don't get his He's going 100 right? plus. He's I think he's 100 plus. Yeah, 105 plus. Yeah. yeah. So what do we think of their game plan? Is that, it's one week of data. That's a hard thing because that was some concerns well, on this. Technically, it was an easy matchup. They only played the Crows. Yeah. And they stunk. They did. Um, I think we don't have to worry about their, their game style on that because he's just at 80% CBAs and he's been told to hunt the footy. Mm. So and I even that. It's fine. Like, he had a game high four tackles, and that was a game where there were no tackles no, to be had. High four, yeah. but he still had them. I think they laid one. It was either one or two. Oh combined yeah, I was listening to the, the radio quarter. too. They were mentioning that. Wowie, that's bad. Um, mm. But then they came good. They did and beat your boys. Yeah, yeah Now the other name I said, I was leaving in this list here of the um, players that you might have missed, Nick Dacos. Mm. I'm not going to call that a. You have to fix that one up. No, but. If you're rocking with an Andy McGrath and have that opportunity to go there. He's a lot yeah. better than Andy. He's, He's a, a lot better than Andy. Mm. Yeah, Andy McGrath. That was really disappointing. He could have nearly got my negative three before, actually, to be honest. Mm. But um, you could be fixing some stuff up with that. Yeah, that's a nice luxury fix-up for sure. Little yeah. flag, though. and Dacos yeah. plays Port Adelaide this week. Oh, red. So it's gonna be a, that's a tougher match-up. Okay. Will they send anyone to him? Well, the only one I thought this, about. When's this going to happen? Yeah, like, it. If I was coaching against him, I send someone to him. He's that good. Port Adelaide do have Willem Drew that they could use. Yeah. He has done jobs before. Didn't do one on the weekend, no. though. Yeah. No. So, Willie, I don't know. But it's always going to be a concern with Dacos. However, he's still going to be a very high 90 averaging guy. Yeah. His name's Willem, not Willie, by Willie. the way. Oh, Willem. I enjoyed that. <laughs> what did I call him? Like, Will he do it? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Right. Now, <laughs> the next little category of these guys, I'm going to call them the nice-to-haves. And these are the okay. ones you could bring oh. in. Okay. okay. Yep. So, defenders. Will Day. Yeah. Again, he's not going to play Essendon every week, no, as Calvin he, he would say. No, he certainly did his job. That Good midfield roll. time was there, over 50%. We can thank you for that one. So floating out to space, taking yes, marks. Yes, exactly. 
Um, he was looking good. He was pretty much yo. Yeah. So maybe yo's copping a bit of a hard time here. You are being a bully. Yeah. You so got your wheel day. <laughs> uh, so are we are we on wheel day then? Uh, yeah. No, not a whole heap more than I was in the preseason yep. where I was rather bullish. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. But, no, he did what he had to do against a pretty average team, to be honest. <laughs> Those scores were so inflated. Yeah. It's not funny yeah. how far It was a high-scoring game it with was. that. Um, I'll say there as well in that I, the other defender is Constable. Yes. Yeah. All right. So his... He was going at a very low disposal efficiency rate. Well, uh, for the game, but early on it was sh- ugly. 46, in fact. Coach might not have checked that. Yeah, keep it quiet, dog. <laughs> Coach is done. So obviously he scored <laughs> bloody fantastically. So he knocked out a 87 yeah, for us. Wicked. And when you're starting at 332K. You know the best thing about his stat line, Roy? He kicked a handball. <laughs> 23 <laughs> kicks, three handballs and... Maybe lay a tackle, Charlie. I <laughs> know. Oh, okay? <laughs> Zero. Like, just consolidate your spot in the Come team. Come on, mate. Knuckle down. Knuckle down. Lay a tackle. So, yeah. <laughs> Is it, well, hopefully he stays in the side. Hopefully. Otherwise, if there was a complete disaster in the back line, people could have a, a round two zero back there. Yeah. If you've gone thin. Oh, boy. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, oh, boy. Yeah, no. Not trying to make anyone panic, but seriously. Right, in the midfield. Um, Warple. <laughs> Again, bombers. But mm. who's been job, trying man. to fight that? Did I've been trying me. to fight it. Yeah. What do you think now, Gal? Oh, okay, let's have this conversation next week after we play Sydney at the SCG. Mm. Right? That's a bigger test. That's yeah. a massive test. He's coming back to a 60. So he's mm. in the same... You know, I, I just like <laughs> making big calls on Warple. Yeah. I admit it. <laughs> right? So in I, the same... Like, I wish I still had him after seeing that Yeah, yeah, effort. yeah. Yep. That was good. He was good. Mm. Yeah. Roll. Roll was That's there. what we're looking like. We certainly were. Uh, and his disposal, his disposal efficiency it's was good. up. It was better. Um, uh, 70 per- 77% CBAs, the most out yeah. of everyone yeah. from yeah. the Hawthorne. Exactly. And, that's, and that was a bit of a decision-making thing um, for him. Mm. Inside mid. Yes. That can get it on the outside as well. That's why we were picking him. And, that's why, and he's been there before. Uh, so with that, it's like Callahan. That's why I went basically Warple ahead of Callahan. The inside stuff. Yeah. yeah but smart maybe cold. Callahan does get a bit. Callahan's classier, obviously, but yeah, a bit more of an opportunity now too. Maybe he might go inside. That's the thing. Did That's he very have true. any on the weekend? Any CBA? Oh, he must so have had one. I reckon really then. low, really yeah. um, low. So he, um, but yeah, with. Kelly out for yep. the week and Ethan Whitfield. Like, there's yeah. just a chance to score. But he obviously scored really well too. So that was a um, a nice option that you could be calling someone that you have there. Then the other big one is Setterfield, who had the 122. So he was at 610 mm. and was the a better option than Sheed yeah. for the week anyway. Mm. Um, is he an option to go to? He um, he had more CBAs than Dylan Shew and Zach Merritt. Mm. Yeah. He's number two in line. Well, he's just going to sit in the middle. He's the he's the sentiment if you go yeah. to the old well, school. God, play the break even game with him. You can always hide behind that if he falls off a cliff. So, where are you happy to have a guy like that? Is that sort of the M four? I think it's all a shambles now. I don't, I don't think you worry where he sits. You just chuck him anywhere in there. I don't think we overthink that at the moment. Yeah. Is that because you've just clicked and dragged your players all over the shop <laughs> probably, and not in price or whatever? Yeah, probably, but, yes. Yeah. Um, but, no, it's a valid question. Because that's a, that's a concern know. as we look at our teams a little bit, especially um, – He could be M4. If you're considering, yeah. Yeah, M4, definitely. Yeah. I think – well, that's where I've got Sheed. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah. He's that sort of position. I think he can definitely do it. In the forward line, around the similar price was Jason Horn Francis, Cal. The Hornbag. Proud, proud owner with you. And <laughs> – Now's your time to say it. Yeah. Now's your time. Should be an apology. Is there something you would like to say? Geez, you're good at fantasy football in picking young talent. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Finish. Keep going. Oh, I don't think I was negative. You were very, negative. very negative. I no, saw it. You hated Hornbag, and, and I'm, I'm blaming Kane on that. Yeah, <laughs> Kane <laughs> does wreck everyone's feelings. No, towards so him. Hornbag had a ninety, but Jack Zebel around mm. that same price there. Oh wow. It's the role again. is back. The role is he, which we've heard about, but we're all probably just too scared. If he had defender status, yeah. he would have been in my team. Yeah, pay that. Yeah, there's not many spots up true. for grabs up forward. No, 
Especially with old Cheezel getting it done as yeah. well. <clears throat> exactly right. So if you're in that position where you might need to look at that, mm. it's F5. Mm. If you're in a in a position where you would sort of doing that yeah. shuffle or could that even be a DPP into the midfield mm. and whacking him in the yeah. forward line? Could be there. Anyway, Obviously so there's danger that comes with a Zebel. Let's just make sure that's Definitely. Clear. But what does he – he averages 90 – in that role, mm. doesn't he? I think so. Yeah, I think so. He's not he's a done player it before. I'd bring in, no. Mm. no. But he, and he's doing it without Aaron Hall there as yes. well. Yes. Mm. Uh, the other one is Charlie per- Charlie Perkins. Who's Archie. That? Archie. Charlie Don't Perkins. Know. Probably teach what? him or something. Uh, probably yeah, on <laughs> TV show. Yeah. 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 Uh, three Archie. goals he kicked for yeah, that great did. score, mm. but it's Once draft again. only. Once again. You only played against Hawthorne. 100%. Mm, so we can't do that. All right. It's now time for us to look at our early trades for round two. Okay. We've put our heads together and tried to think of these. Calvinator, oh. I'm going to start with you because you're dumping. I'm dumping Rory Lead. Oh, wow. I, wow. I cannot sit here with a 57 next to a guy's name that is worth over a million dollars. No. Not anymore, but over a million dollars. <laughs> I can't have that. No. So you know what? I'm actually going to follow my head yeah. and not my heart. Oh. Okay? I will go Laird no. to Warple. Oh, God. Don't. Okay? No, no, no. Don't do that. But it allows me to get Cash Cowan. Yes. Up to day cost, which means I have one less rookie in my mid. So that'll put Jin be it. D6. Six. Right. <clears throat> Let's, can we just... So where does that Can we put, say it's what? led to Dacos then? It sounds a lot better. <laughs> yes. So right. where does that put your midfield then? Shambles. Yeah. Brayshaw at one. Yeah. Two is McRae. McRae. So three's McRae. going to be... Dom Sheed. Dom Sheed. Let's go! And Woo! four is going to be the warp. Yeah. That's a good team. Wow. Right? That's, that's what I'm saying. We don't worry about where they all sit now. That's it. Just get out on the field yep. and get some ball. Hundred yep. percent. Wow. Right. Wow. Hey. Mm. Okay. Let's just give it that little quick one. Led. Can you trade him? Yes. Yes, you can. Okay. Fifty-seven. And I've been crunching numbers already. His matchup against Richmond: ninety-five last year, seventy-five the year before. Oh, Ooh. he's just dropping coin. He averages it's less. It's a break-even trade. He averages less at home than he does away. He's got a bit of a stint at home. He's like me. It? Hates being at home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Roy. What are you doing to try to fix your ex airy mess? Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going. So bear in mind, I've got four hundred eighty-five thousand. You do. Oh, that's so right. Now I'm so one of those cash. losers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much are you carrying into round two? Oh, nearly five hundred k. All right. So I'm going Josh Kelly to Tom Green because now I'm addicted to it. I want more cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash, cash, cash me up. <laughs> and then I'm going um, X Airy to Tim English. Oh, nice. Right. right. So they are nice trades. you then still have your cash in the bank. And I will. So hopefully within the next month I might get to use it somewhere and fix some gaping holes that I still have in my team. Mm. Yeah. I like it. My fix is Josh Kelly to Tom Green. Oh, um, copying you. <laughs> so he copied me last week, copying you this week. And then I'm holding on lead at the moment, Ooh. which means he's trading. Yes. Um, Remember that, everybody. Potentially will. Um, but it's no longer to Cade Chandler. Just to fix up that rookie yeah, to make sure I've got the cash generation going there. Fair which enough. is actually going to keep me with some cash in the bank as well. Oh, it can as never be outdone with the old cash in the bank, the dog. <laughs> we, we love the cash <laughs> in the bank, don't we? Cal Toomey here. Join me and Riley Beveridge each week for Gettable, the definitive source for everything you need to know about player movement, trade, draft, free agents, contracts, the ins and outs of who is Gettable. We'll share the off-field stories that will shape your team's future on the field. Get Gettable, available round one, wherever you listen to podcasts. Got a question for the traders? Tweet the boys at AFL Fantasy or head to facebook.com forward slash AFL Fantasy official. All right, time for some questions and plenty have been coming through the Twitter verse. Is that a thing? Twitter, yeah. Twitter sphere, Twitter sphere, yeah. Mm. Just 
through Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and we're also back. on Instagram as well. So on Twitter, you can find us at AFL Fantasy. And our Instagram account is at AFL Fantasy as well, which make sure you're following along with that because you should be able to, uh, well, get an opportunity on Sunday nights. We'll put up the post there so that you can give a little reply to it uh, or in the whatever it is, the little box, and we will do our best to get there. Um, now, Ethan. Is Josh Kelly to green and then using the money to get Chandler a good idea? Oh, you just listen to my trades. <laughs> well done. <laughs> At warning. No, it's from Ethan. That one. Yes, right. Okay. There's a real person out <coughs> okay. there asking that one. Good move. That's Ethan. a good move. Then, it is. It? Of course it is. So yeah. obviously that's going to bank you a bit of coin. Yeah. So, um, and hopefully you're not going to... That's what you want. That's where the game's at. Yeah. Bank, bank, bank. <laughs> Is it true whoever has the most coin in their mm. bank at the end of the year yeah. wins, Roy? Yeah, and if you're over the 400000 mark, they actually give you interest on it. Oh, wow. So you get more in there. Beautiful. Mm. He's only joking. Those people <laughs> at home <laughs> thinking oh, it's a well, new rule. find out. That's what someone told me. All right. Um, <laughs> I guess the question is, what do you do with Josh Kelly? And it is a must trade, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, yeah, it definitely is. is. Um, it's... Guaranteed 12 days, could be more, you never so know. So where will you go to with um, with that? If it's if you already had Tom Green, what are you going to? Oh, you've just got the world, the world at your feet, basically. Yep. You, can, you can do a lot. Would if, you try to get up to a Brayshaw? <clears throat> Potentially, yep. Or you could even look to um, muck around with some DPP as well. Like you could patch the weakest spots on your ground with that. Who are some of the um, other options that you were impressed with as those – Underpriced premiums like well, he's an LDU. LDU did his job. Um, it's not a. I don't know why, but I just wouldn't go there. But he certainly did his job. Um, um, Hayden Young, if you want to get back in defence, yeah, yes. yeah, geez, that was another um, preseason. Well, well off your a bit radar. Of a flag though, they can't have that many marks in there. Luke, that's, 50 Luke that's Ryan. a scale of hardness thing. Yeah, Luke Ryan, 156, 13 you, marks. Cox, Brennan Cox, 144, 20 marks. It will, that's a scale of hardness that is going to be a flag there. Yes. So, who's playing them this week? So Bulldogs. It's the Bulldogs. So, yeah. your Caleb Daniel, your Ed Richards. Ed Richards, he was a good pick. He was. I, having said that, I don't know how many teams are going to be playing oh, that way. Agree. Like yeah, that's that was a bit ridiculous. That wasn't it ever. Uh, Lockie is asking: is Sheed a hold or a downgrade? It's a hold for me. <laughs> okay, but you can move if you've got nothing else to do. Is can I opinion. tell my Sheed story? Yeah. Tell your Sheed story. Okay, because oh, yes. he basically it's t- quite interesting because he turned up. <laughs> I, yeah. I watched the game. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, <Yeah>. Roy. <laughs> Jam it, dog. Right. So he had three tackles. Yeah. And they were great tackles. Tackled the ball, the ball, the ball dropped to the ground. I'm like, the ball. I'm like, that should be holding the ball. He just held on for a second too long and they go, Shh, against you, mate, held on to him, right? That's a 21-point turnaround across three tackles. So he turned up. That's so he turned up. He's turned up. <laughs> right? But you, the joke is, though, if, if the ball was dropping like you were a saying, yep. there's four umpires out there. That's it. So I you feel can, like he was picking. you can hold him a bit long. He's holding the ball. Yeah, he was picked on. Yeah. Um, and he I, had a lot more. He'll be fine this week. I saw back an, at home. I saw an accusation flying through the Twitter sphere, Twitterverse. I saw the <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> that um, he even took a mark that wasn't paid. That that would have got him to the magic. No, so that 85. was a free kick again. So I watched that one because oh. someone tweeted me and said, oh, statisticians. I don't even know. I'm sitting on my bloody couch watching these games. Well, I can't affect that. But um, he, it was a mark. But he was given a free kick against, so that overrode it. Look, I think it might have been a bump ball or something. Oh, no, it was touched. Sorry, that was touched off the boot. And so the mark wasn't paid there, but oh. he copped it in the back, so he got a free kick for there it. Were so multiple, people thought it was a mark. Right. Multiple times yeah. where he got screwed over points, Roy. And I'm saying... I think we can adjust his score there. It's a ton. We, we ring up yep. AFL Fantasy HQ and say, hey, yep. we yep. can adjust Dom Sheed's score. Please make it 100. Why does he run like that? Yeah. Yeah. Early doors of that, I was going, look, this was a bad <laughs> You know my problem at the moment? There's a couple of guys like him that yeah. I was quite strong on. Yeah. Okay. And is this the time of the year where you need to be stubborn and go, no, you know, you picked this guy for a reason, I'm going to back you in again? Or is this a Sicily story like last year, dog, but in reverse, mm. where you were like, no, nah, I didn't want Sicily, and all of a sudden he's come out and by the end of it you've gone, if I had done that earlier – and I wasn't so stubborn, yeah. then you could be in a much better position. So, but it's not like he's given you something epic. No, I know. 
But <clears throat> someone you've backed in like that as well, there is always that fear that they do do exactly what you thought they would the next week. Exactly. And that whacks you in the face. Exactly. Laird, uh, Calvin. Laird which is Calvin. one of the – yeah, which is <laughs> a Laird issue. Right. Yeah. We all know Laird's got to bounce back from his 18 touches, two tackles. He's not doing that again. He's not having a 50 again. Oh, my God. <laughs> 57, dog. God. That rounded down. Might as well be a 60. 60. We'll 60. Miller time. Uh, what did I really expect when I picked Liam Jones? <laughs> did I get what I deserved? Am I an idiot? Sorry, those are all rhetorical. <laughs> <laughs> so don't answer yes to them. I won't. Um, yeah, it's disappointing. Uh, then, Tim, another one. Why did my two best fantasy players score 57 and 77? I can't answer that. So it would have been a lot of coaches, mm. two most expensive players. Yeah, it's not acceptable behaviour. How no. did Rory Laird score under 60? No, he got 60. He got 60. Round it up. <laughs> yeah. 100. <laughs> All right, Dan's got this question. Um, realistically, who do we lock? Uh, who do we look at as an R three, or do we just ride out a non-playing rookie, or do we chase value but spend more cash just to have it on the bench? Mm. Is there still anyone that you would be having there? I don't My think so. Is no, no, no. There's so no one there. I'm still okay with by having that Lockie McAndrew. Yeah. If they were subbing out Laddams. Yes. Oh, this time could come. Chance there is some chance. Yeah, yeah. There's a sniff. There's Who's a sniff. your eighth? Who have you got there? R three. Um, McAndrew. Right, I went the St Kilda guy. Oh, did you? Yeah, just yeah. for basically just throwing it for this loophole Sunday yeah. Arvo options. Yeah, smart. Mm. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, who do I go to from Whitfield? You've stuffed up on your ca- on your keyboard there. You've gone an S instead of a W for Whitfield. Um, <laughs> Have 55k <laughs> in the bank before trades. Don't have Chandler either. So if you're getting Chandler, you're probably paying up from where you were. So Look, your Whitfield, if you don't have Tom Green, there's your answer. That Whitfield situation. It's, it's one of those mid-price guys, I think. You're going down a little bit. Yep. If, if there was even an element of trust in Whitfield still, yeah. that is so far gone now. <laughs> He's so unlucky, is it? It's unlucky. Concussion. Yeah. Yes, hundred percent. It's unlucky. Oh, a little bit of intel for that. Hit up, uh, Frico. Um, so players will need to play four of the five games to be in line for DPP. Oh, because he's obviously in line. He was playing a yep. uh, defensive role. I don't blah, care blah, blah. if I've got trust issues. I'll get him in round <laughs> two. <right. laughs> <laughs> Strengthen that back line. Um, right. And now at a juicy price. Now, the Liam Jones thing, he may still play. Actually. Yes, because it, it was a neck. There you go, Miller. Yeah, it's not that bad. That's all right. But he wasn't scoring well. I'd be jumping off anyway. Mm. It's not a deal. Trade target, he's gone down in price a little bit. When does he get to play the Saints? Yes. Oh, it's this oh. week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Get up. Mate. Trade target. Look, he, <laughs> I'm not joking. He might be worth bringing in. Trade target. All right. <laughs> right don't do this. Uh, Ragsy, uh, Josh Kelly to Tom Green or Will Setterfield? So the easy answer is Tom Green, but Setterfield will save you some cash. Yeah, just go Tom. Just go just Tom. Just go Tom. And then when we've got luxuries, we can just do This is even things. coming from the cash king. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. How much <laughs> more money in the bank would that be? A lot. What are you doing with Tom Stewart? Trading, yeah, sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Is that the answer that yeah, we want? Or you just so with a blank look on your face? It's oh, your I'm, still day, there. I'm still thinking day cost. It's there. a day cost. You can even a Hayden Young. You could. Yes, it wasn't inflated from those marks. Yeah, but they might still just they be still playing might that be doing style. That. Agree. Like, like that might be their thing. Yeah. They're the guys. So is there an option? Yeah, for sure. Would but you go the, Jordan Dawson? Well, you could. You could. Yep. He's still going to be He's a, a bit, bit more. more. That's yeah. a problem. And yeah. It's a quite a fair bit more. He had a 92, six marks in a game that was quite pathetic, really, by the <laughs> Crows, to put it yes. bluntly. Shark Noodle saying this for Callahan was garbage until Kelly went off in the fourth and yeah. um, then he went big, persist or just get off. I guess that's why he's an option to get, but it could be a limited time. Yeah, at least you get another look now. Yeah. Might as well. His cash is going up for those couple of weeks 100%. as well. So he's priced at 40 something, he's got 80. Yeah. Yep. Um, and you get a full week without Kelly. Mm. Right, Roy, this one's in your hitting zone. Uh-oh. Brace yourself. If you didn't have all your cash in the bank, yeah. <laughs> is Laddams a good enough short-term no. replacement no. for X area? No. Otherwise, restructure means I miss out on Chandler. 
yeah, miss out on Chandler, Chandler and get. Who are the other options then? Because you are bulk coin and you're going oh, swagging around <laughs> being able to go to. Um, I am too. Aren't go I? to English. Yeah. Who are the other options? Um, why didn't I just start there? Um, yeah, Sean so Darcy. Darcy's an option. So yep, because he's um, che- a lot cheaper. Yeah, he's a lot cheaper, and he got the job done. And Jackson just. I oh, know. He just did Jackson things. He did. Just ran around like a headless jock. <laughs> yep. He really. Um, I think Darcy is fine. Um, and the probably, he would probably be, what, 150K cheaper, I'm mm. thinking. So if that's all you can get to, it's not yeah. a disaster. Yeah, and with Darcy there... 85% of the CBAs, Jackson 25%. Jackson did not sign up for that, Roy. No, he didn't. He did not sign up for that. No. Um, would you consider um, Sam Draper, Roy? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start. 47. And he kicked two goals in that. <laughs> oh, he had a tough matchup, though. It was against the Hawks. No, it was it against double, the, uh, the double combo of Rucks. Morning, they've got two the tall towers. people. I wouldn't say it's a double you know combo what? of Rucks. Then you've got Grundy and Gone. Then you've got okay. Reeves and me. Okay. They're not far behind. <laughs> Roy, Laird only beat Draper by 10. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back in my box. Oh. oh Calvin's maybe, Captain's maybe, Cal- maybe Draper is an option. He is not. He's a... Question for Calvin's uh, captains, uh, Ken Tank. Uh, does Calvin put too much pressure on the likes of Laird, Kelly, etc.? They felt the it. players must read his article. They would and just get wobbly and concussed. They felt it this week. <laughs> get wobbly Gil. and concussed. Gil needs to stop the players from reading Calvin's cap. Oh, too right, they do. Idea. Yes, that's right. No, this week Everyone though, feels, dog. Oh, sorry, you got new pen. Oh, oh I you can't, haven't. I can't it's write blue. with that other piece of rubbish. My blue and my blue and white. It's still multicoloured. It's still multicoloured, but, but I've gone, gone for it. Looks a, tough. I've never seen an all black one. Yeah, I can't go with the blue and black bic. Wow, the that. blue and white bic. So yeah, new one out. So this week, I'm confident. Now. I'll be better. Yeah, oh. John. Since I've been got, since I got gone. Uh, Hey, Legends, if we got spooked on Dacos, do we get him in as a luxury trade or wait and see now if teams put more attention into him? Okay. I think we just back it. You, you back it in now. And you like back get it, him. You back Buy it him. and get him. You just got to be wary. Yes, and the good with the bad. Cool, calm and collected in your head that it is going to happen and you're going to have to sit through those rounds where he is clamped. Yep. But in He will favor, average more than what he's priced at now? Yeah, yep, yep. definitely. <clears throat> the thing is, buddy Dugowie has done him a lot of favours here. Yeah. See, so Dugowie is actually kicking goals, mm. playing his role. You could always say, well, Dacos is great back there, but he's not actually finishing the job. Yeah. Goat's finishing the job. Goat's the goat. Get is, on the goat. Yeah. The goat is their most influential and important player. Yeah. He's hitting the scoreboard. So that, right. that saves him a couple of weeks, I reckon. Yeah, I think so as well. Port Adelaide this week, obviously going to be a tough one, into Richmond, and then he's at the Gabba. So yeah. he's got a few tough ones coming up. But as you said, you've got to take the good with the bad with him, and he's got to average high 90s. Could actually go bad, good, bad Yep, with that those games incoming. Yep. And then he's got, gee, you got St Kilda coming up? St Kilda's coming up. Wow. There you go. Good again. Adrian, is it all right to rage trade coming to... Dacos or Young? Who is it? Is it Dacos ahead of Young? We're well, just going I'm Young because that. of that. I'm still that sticking with That's still Dacos. Dacos. Yeah. Um, or even today for an extra ca- extra cash grab. Gosh. Would you say, it here, is then there. split that it's question, Dacos or Day for that extra cash? It's Dacos. Depends on what you're doing with that cash, yeah, I guess. Just, um, yeah, I feel like if you're, if you're not doing it specifically to fix another issue, you probably just... Back day, Cossie. Yep. Mm. Uh, Lockie wants to know here, what's the priority? Restructure trades to get Chesser off the field, bringing on Philippou or Pedler, uh, or getting mid-prices breakouts that we missed at all costs. For example, Kelly to Green, Setterfield or Day. I don't know how stressed we need to be about our rookies. We just got to remember that they're rookies. Yeah. We're going to have one or two each week that are going to score sub-50. Yes. Yeah. Just, you're going to have to eat that. Mm. Or they still it, covered or whatever their, the word. They would covered be. their break even, didn't they? They did. So we got what Just. we paid for. We did. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to look at. Um, all right. There's a lot of people asking when lockout lifts on here. Uh, Any Rowan Marshall, an anomaly 
on Rowan Marshall or is the role not right? I don't know. I fear the same thing. Who's that for? In the, Rowan Marshall. In the pre-season, that was his first game under Ross and the mm. role was there. I think he just got annihilated by the big dust. Um, JJJ, number one fan, uh, reckon I should hold Hunt for another week. You get off that one. Yeah, you get off that. Yeah, get off. Yeah. You, uh, you're dead right with the Marshall, though. That Brayshaw matchup, so not Brayshaw, uh, Darcy matchup is tough. Mm. Um, so it was always going to be a small concern. We talked um, in the last podcast how Darcy was one of the hardest rucks to yes. score against last year. So we, we sort of can see that coming here. But he's up against Tim English. Yeah. Now, Max Gond didn't struggle. He still yes. turned up. Yep. So... Yeah, I, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. And there's no one chopping out with him. No. That's the only concern. Bloody oath it is. If Doom Dum Doom comes back, yes. then, yeah, but I the, could be sounding the, the alarm. Fact, the fact they won, Agree. They, sh- they should stick with it, I reckon. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Cosy, do you hold for two weeks or trade? You trade. Trade. It was a good pick, though. It was a good pick. Good draft one, I mm. reckon. I chook Just a him. quick one. Then A name we haven't talked about is Bytel. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's cheap. So he was like 300. He spent some time on Sarong. What did he end up going? 75? 80 odd. 80. Yeah, with 65% Gosh. CBAs. But then Windhager most likely comes back next week, mm. you would think. Mm. So I it, think he stays in the team, though. Oh, I think yeah, he stays it? there, too. I think Ross likes him. Ross loves a tagger. He could play 22 of them, maybe. Yeah, that's disappointing because we did look at that at the 11th hour. Mm. Just as well here, Jack Steele, 90% CBAs. Was it? 90. For what score? God, 104 the, or something, was it? Yeah, it wasn't big. Mm. Low 100. Uh, now, Matt wants to know, do we stick with Bruin or try to get up to Horny Boy, the hornbag? Okay. Francis. We always had a small concern around Bruin. He started well. Didn't he ever? Bloody oath, he, he looked like he was on track for close nope. to a ton. We always say it, he plays for Geelong. You just mm. don't know what is going to happen there. What was it? So that was um, – what happened there? Was it the injury that affected yes. that? So Stewart mm. went off and Parfit came on. Yeah, so Parfit got the claw. in the clock. shuffle, yeah. it all pushed Bruin out, out onto on a wing. wing. And, yeah, Dryde scoring right up. Very mm. disappointing for his coaches. Mm. Does, does he just start back out there or I don't know? He could find himself back in the middle when they <coughs> have the chance to pick fresh teams and stuff. Uh, Edward wants to know, what happened to Brisbane? So it was bad. They got scaled. Just a bit of shit. So they basically had the – well, they had the lowest score mm. of the weekend, fantasy yeah. score. No, I don't think 11-29. That's, that's Look, bad. that's bloody bad. But I think um, I think we, we're going to be fine with that. Just forget that game. Just, yep. Yep. That'll be right. What are they, Friday night? Brisbane are Friday night at home to oh, Melbourne. Right. I might VC Dunkley. Well, the Bulldogs had five guys go over 105 mm. against Melbourne. Yeah. You would think Dunkley, new team, first home game, it could be. And they've got a lot of work to do to get a bit of faith back from the supporters right, after that. That was shocking. Mm. Uh, now, could you go Marshall to Wits? <laughs> See, nah. I'm going to say no on that. Nah. Because you're not getting wits to score. Look, we've got to back If you had Marshall absolutely in. nothing to do. No. Still not doing that? No. Marshall's going to be – Marshall will score 130 moving forward before wits will. Uh, yeah, I agree. And if you really wanted to do something then, then probably Darcy's the play mm. to save yourself that, a bit more coin. Gosh, yeah. uh, wits will be worth over a million soon anyway. Yeah, George has too. McRae versus Bont. McRae was less than convincing. Okay, where do we sit with McRae here? I don't know. That's the ugliest 107 I've ever seen yeah, in right. my life. Um, and it was late. It was a late save with irrelevant little possessions that were turnovers. It was just an ugly game. They got thumped. <clears throat> they got thumped. Um, Bont, Bont looked great early because he had that inside mid roll yeah, that yeah. We were, we're talking about. But then... Bevo, like, why would I say? Why should I sound shocked? And I'm <laughs> saying it with a little bit more passion in my voice because I went Bont as that cash grab yep. um, from Led. He was killing it as the inside mid that I got him for, but then Bevo put him forward. I thought yeah. with all those tools forward, um, actually, I'll tell you what's happened there. That is a flow-on effect as well. I never thought of that. So I think when Liam Jones went down, yeah, Darcy yep, yep. went back, that's why Bont went forward. Yeah, okay. 
Hopefully Liam Jones is back this week and Bond's back in the midfield. There you go. But it's still hard to pick Bond over McRae just because it feels like Bond's possessions are so much harder. Yeah, agree. McRae can do what he did in the last quarter there to save the day. Yeah. Yeah. And he can, if he's switched on, he can do it for three quarters and end up with huge numbers. Yep. Who do you mm. pick? Split them. It's hard. So McRae's got St Kilda this week. Bond's clearly the better player. Yep. Hopefully McRae can get involved in these marks. McRae has been the better fantasy player for a long time yep. out of the two. It's a tough split. It is a tough split. I'm still – I'm going McRae then. I'm still McRae. Yep. All right. Uh, just to wrap things up then, just a shout-out to Todd Gray here at 48 Shades of Grey. My fantasy is in trouble. Tom Stewart, Tristan Cherry, Liam Jones, Lockie Whitfield, oh. Josh Kelly, Rory Laird as captain. Oh, oh my God. Goodness. What an awful run. Have mercy. Then, That's ridiculous. And what we're saying to these people, Roy, is chin up. Chin up. <laughs> we don't quit. Just we do fight best. through it. Butter mouse. Butter mouse. Be the butter mouse. Yeah. He shouldn't have to butter mouse that hard round one. He's going to have to mm. do a lot of work to turn and that milk. Lost draft in Shiva by one point oh, as God. well in the follow-up <laughs> reply. It's just been a bad weekend. I'm going to go out Things can only get better. He Hell, will yeah. not be enjoying fantasy at the moment. No. Things will get better yeah, if you okay. keep following along with all of our great oh, content on I afl.com.au so. and the AFL Live official app. Keep clicking back there to make sure that you're getting all the news and everything that you need. Don't forget, big things for us is on Thursday night from 6.15 Australian Eastern Standard Daylight Saving Time. Still daylight saving this week. Um, You'll be able to watch our live show, which is great as the teams drop. Can't and that wait. will be, yeah, leading into the first game of round two. So make sure you're following us all on socials. I'm at Warney DT. I'm at Rory DT. At Cullivan DT. And we'll help you out during the week. Good luck.